welcome students now we are going to start with our next process that is the bending operation so what is bending so bending is nothing but it is a operation where the deformation is produced on the flat sheet around the straight axis where the neutral plane lies okay so we are having the flat sheet and with the required angle we are going to simply bend that sheet okay this is the bending operation now if you look at say the bend part which is having the top layer and the bottom layer we are bending it suppose and so the top layer is subjected to the tension or tensile stresses will produce on the top layer definitely i will draw the diagram say this is the sheet i have bent okay this is the axis this is neutral plane neutral plane say in this angle i am bending this say this alpha is the bend angle okay say the thickness of the sheet is t and this is the top layer and this is the bottom layer and so this is the bend radius okay so here see the top layer of this sheet is subjected to the tension whereas bottom sheet is subject bottom layer of the sheet is subjected to the compression and here is our neutral plane okay so this is the bending operation so bending operation very important thing is that how much length actually you are going to bend and this length actually see here we have produced this bend suppose so this is nothing but the bend allowance the bend allowance this is called as the bend allowance and this is very important thing that is you know that definitely many times going to ask in the gate examination or any competitive examination right this bend allowance is nothing but what is your actual bend length your bend length so how to calculate bend length or bend allowance that is the big question okay so this bend allowance is nothing but this alpha into r plus k times thickness of the sheet okay where alpha is what our bend angle which is in radian we are having r is our bend radius please remember kaun si bend radius jo bhi inner hai right ye jo bhi inner layer se leke hai not up to the outer layer please remember so bend radius up to inner layer okay thickness ko hum nahi ginenge iske andar okay and t is what the thickness of the sheet thickness of the sheet and k is the constant actually this constant is basically the location of this neutral plane from the bottom of this uh bottom of this sheet say it is t by 2 or t by 3 okay 
So this k is nothing but the you can call it as a constant, you can call it as a bend factor, you can call it as it is nothing but the location of the neutral plane. Neutral plane from the bottom layer of the sheet. Okay, so this value of k is generally 0.33 when your radius of bend is less than 2t. Okay, when this radius of bend is less than 2t, you are having the value of k as a 0.33, whereas this k is equal to 0 0.5 when your r is greater than 2t. So it is actually less than equal to 2t, then you are having k value 0 0.33 and greater than 2t, your bend radius is greater than 2t, this bend factor is taken as 0 0.5. So this is a very important thing students, this bend allowance is very very important and whenever there is a bend in somewhere in the sheet, so what they are asking many times, they are asking the total length, total developed length when this bend is present at any portion of the sheet, we have to calculate the total developed length. Okay, so let us take one example so that it is clear to you. Say for example, I am taking, so here is at the corner we are having the bend, okay. So let us say we are having the thickness of the sheet as 3 millimeter, this distance as 50 millimeter. So all dimensions are in mm please, this length is 100 millimeter and this length of course this is how much 50 millimeter so let us say see this radius is 5 and say this radius is 10 okay now what we are going to <coughs> calculate, so the question is calculate the total developed length, calculate the total developed length, okay, or how much it is. So <coughs> let us start with, say from here, you can see we are having the bend this is our bend say from here to here we are having this first bend bend number one and say from here to here we are having the second bend isn't it so bend number two okay so to get this total developed length Okay, what we have to calculate? First, we have to calculate calculate this bend allowance or bend length, and then we should know this dimension, this dimension, and this is left out dimension. Okay, so say this is L1, this is bend allowance 1, plus this is L2. Okay, then this is bend allowance number 2 and say this is L3 okay as L1 and L3 are same so no any issue so let us calculate so first of all let us find out the bend allowance at 1 so what is bend allowance at 1 it is equal to alpha into r plus k times t now see here what is radius is equal to what is radius of bend 10 millimeter isn't it and thickness of the plate is how much 3 millimeter so whether check r is greater than or equal to 2t so r is 10 and 2t value is 6 so r is greater than 
2t for radius of bread to greater than 2t the k value will be 0.5 isn't it so and alpha is how much 90 degree isn't it this is 90 degree only this is 90 degree and this is also 90 degree so <coughs> that bend allowance now i can calculate here i can calculate bend allowance 1 will be equal to what this alpha is 90 degree so it should be in radian so into pi divided by 180 into bracket r 10 millimeter plus k 0.5 times thickness 3 millimeter okay so it is pi by 2 into bracket 10 plus 1.5 so it is how much 11.5 times pi divided by 2 it is how much so 11.5 to pi divided by 2 it is 18.06 18.06 so you got the bend allowance one is equal to 18.06 this much distance okay now go for calculation of bend allowance 2 so i'll write here bend allowance 2 that is 90 here let us see r is how much r is 5 mm radius of bend 5 mm thickness of plate 3 mm so here r is 5 and 2t is 6 so r is less than 2t so what is your bend factor should be we can going to use 0.33 okay so now put the values again so bend allowance 2 is equal to alpha 90 into pi divided by 180 okay because i want this in radian into bracket r is how much 5 millimeter plus k 0.33 times 3 so it is nearly 0 0.99 isn't it so 5.99 so pi by 2 into 5.99 so how much it is 5.99 divided by so is it 9.40 it is 9.40 millimeter so this is bend allowance okay so now we want the total development length so how to calculate c so for this 100 mm we have to minus c here this is the thickness of the sheet minus this radius 5 millimeter from here and from here we have to minus this 3 millimeter thickness of sheet minus this radius how much 10 millimeter so to get this l2 value what we can write so l2 is equal to this 100 minus 10 plus 3 13 minus 5 plus 3 8 so tell me what is the value l2 100 minus 13 minus 8 so it is 79 millimeter 79 mm okay now for getting this this much l3 value or say l1 value because both are same from 50 y to minus this thickness of the sheet t minus this radius phi u isn't it and here you have to get 50 not it is not same because radius is different so here this 50 minus this thickness 3 minus radius 10 so <clears throat> at this side what we can have at this side 50 minus 5 minus 3 50 minus 5 minus 3 isn't it so it is how much 42 mm and at this size 50 minus 3 47 50 minus 3 47 minus this 10 that is 37 mm the L one is 37 mm so now let us calculate the total developed length is how much so total length total developed length will be how much so this is 42 plus this is 79 plus 
this is how much this is 37 plus band allowance 1 is how much 18.06 plus band allowance 2 is how much <coughs> how much band allowance 2 sorry band allowance 1 is 18.06 band allowance 2 is 9.40 so calculate 42 plus 79 plus 18.06 plus 9.40 it is 140 42 plus 70 plus 37 plus 6 plus it is 185 point Four six one eighty five point four six millimeter. So this is total developed length. Understood how you get this answer? One eighty five point four six millimeter. This is your total developed length please remember here actually this will, length will not be the same because here radius is 10 millimeter and here radius is 5 millimeter so definitely they are different that is you got here this this length has 37 millimeter and this length has 42 millimeter okay and this length you got it as 79 millimeter i hope it is clear now hmm? See here, now in bending operation, as we know that the outer layer going to is uh, going for undergoing tension, so it is stretched to condition. And if you are excessively stretching that outer layer, so definitely there are chances of the rupture or the failure of the sheet. So that is why this <coughs> stretching limit for this uh, bending operation is basically depend upon the the strain or the thickness of the sheet and the bend radius up to which bend radius you are going to bend that given sheet okay so here in bending operation we are having we are going to see actually the three types of bendings okay so there is edge bending then there is a v bending and next is u bending okay so we are going to see this edge bending or uh, this is also known as wiping die wiping operation okay then we are having v bending and u or this is also known as the channel bending channel bending so this edge bending or wiping die what is there so here is a punch and there is an extension on the lower die or die here the sheet is placed like this this is our die this is the die this is the sheet and we are going to apply the force this is our punch okay so you can see here there is a extension or kind of cantilever isn't it so there is extension of the sheet on that we are going to apply the punch so this is the wiping die simply wiping die and this is the punch when it comes down what will happen you are going to get the bend here okay and punch is now say here
so this is the wiping operation or this is the edge bending operation okay now in v bending there is a v bending die we are going to put the sheet here and the punch is going to apply the force on this plate and the sheet is going to bend like this okay so this is the v bending or in channel bending or u bending there is a sheet is going to bend like this in u shape okay so this is a u bending of course punch is going to apply the force now see here the contact point between the dies okay or simply the distance this distance is known as the width of die opening die opening okay so this distance is actually nothing but what the width of die opening so please remember that in v bending there are two widths of of die opening that is when width is equal to 16t and width is equal to 8 times t okay so these are the two openings die openings we are having in the v bending where and where as in this edge bending so edge bending as well as in the channel bending we are having see this is the corner radius of the punch say here this is corner radius of the punch and here we are having corner radius of the die okay so this is say r1 and this is r2 and in, in between that what we are having we are having the thickness of sheet that is nothing but the clearance isn't it this is c so if you going to have the width of die opening here that so the distance will be this much that is r1 plus this c plus this r2 isn't it the c is clearance nothing but the sheet thickness so for the wiping die or the edge bending operation this die opening will be r1 plus r2 plus sheet thickness or the clearance c same kind you can see here in u bending also we are having the kind of edge bending from the two sides so again there is actually width of die opening in this case also this r1 plus r2 plus c see this is r1 plus this is r2 and this is the c okay so only the thing is that the constant value in the force calculation k is equal to for wiping die it is 0.33 okay for channel bending k value is 0.67 and for the v bending when the thickness is 8 times so sorry when the die opening this w value is 8 times thickness this value for k is equal to 1.33 and when the die opening width of die opening is 16 times thickness of the sheet this is the thickness of the sheet so the k value is 1.2 so we should know these values please remember this value for v bending there are two die openings we are using one is 16 times t and another is 8 times t the respective k values i have put here 
एज बेंडिंग ऑपरेशन और चैनल बेंडिंग यू बेंडिंग ऑपरेशन बोथ दी दाई ओपनिंग आर सेम दैट इज आर वन प्लस आर टू प्लस thickness of sheet or you can call it as clearance also here is also the die opening is same but here this constant k is equal to 0.33 here the constant k is equal to 0.67 now you will ask sir where to use this constant so whenever we ask for the force calculation whenever we ask for the force calculation in the bending operation how to provide the force so force in the bending operation is equal to k sl t square divided by w please remember this very important formula where k is what the constant based on what this is the constant based on the die opening please remember these are the constants okay the k value not given to you please remember you have to know this value so on which Thing it is depending, it is dependent upon the width of die opening W. So what is yes? It is ultimate tensile strength of the material. L is our bend allowance or bend length. Bend allowance or bend length. T T is a thickness of sheet. Please remember, very important. very very important the force in the bending operation whether it may be the v bending whether it may be the channel or u bending or it is a simple edge bending or wiping operation so you should calculate you should able to calculate the force in the bending operation as k slt square by w k is constant depending upon the width of die opening s is ultimate tensile strength l is Bend length. How to calculate bend length? You know, alpha into R plus K T, and T is what thickness of the sheet. Okay, so this is the force calculation. Now, if you have the ratio of the force, now see here. If you take this ratio or see this ratio, the force acting in the U bending or the force for bending in v bending as to force of bending in the edge bending so the maximum force we require in the u bending please remember then v then in v bending and the least force is required bending force is required in the edge bending operation if we take the ratio of these forces so it will be 2 as to 1 as 2.5 please remember the ratio of forces Okay, the force in U bending as to force in V bending as to force in edge bending operation. It is the ratio. It is two as to one as to point four. So, सबसे कम force किस में लगता है? Edge bending में लगता है. सबसे ज़्यादा U bending and V bending we require in between force. Isn't it? So, this is about the the forces in the various bending operations okay now